Okay, so this is the Avid KB487L Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. This is an entry level keyboard that's more tailored towards beginners and first time keyboard buyers than anyone else in my opinion. See, this board is an 89 key 10 killers keyboard that basically focuses on all the basics and doesn't give you any extra bells and whistles. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's actually talk about the unboxing experience. You get a black box that says, hello, thank you for choosing Avid. When you open up the box, you're basically going to get some sort of user manual. And the manual is not really large because there isn't really much to tell you about this board. Aside from that, you get the keyboard itself in some nylon material just wrapped up and the braided USB cable is pretty much permanently attached to the board. Aside from that, you get a keycap puller and you also get a customer satisfaction card. That's about everything with the unboxing experience. Now, to some of the important things to note about this board, the keycaps on this are basically PPT keycaps. They are not going to attract some shine and they are not going to wear off over time. They are basically going to be very durable and you're going to enjoy using them for an extended period of time. Now, the key switches on this are something called premium red switches, or at least that's what the website said. But when I did a little bit of a deep dive, I realized that these were actually Jixian red switches. This is the first time I've used Jixian red switches and it's probably going to be the last time because you see, these switches, while they actually sounded like red linear switches, they felt like brown switches typing on them. I'm not sure if this is a consequence of the actual keycaps or the switches themselves, but they sounded like reds and they felt like browns. Now, of course, maybe over time actually using this keyboard, you could break in the switches and then they might start to feel like they're supposed to, but that was my first time user experience. Also, you should note that the stabilizers on this are actually pretty decent. They came pre-clipped, so that's great. And moving away from that, let's actually talk about the physical bits of the board. It's a completely plastic build and actually trying to flex this didn't give me too much of flex or if any at all. It's a really sturdy build keyboard. Now, on the back of the keyboard, one thing that I thought was really weird was that this keyboard actually had two rubber feet at the bottom, but there were no rubber feet at the top except you actually extend the height of the keyboard with the extendable rubber feet that were included. I thought this was weird because there are going to be some people that do not want to use the keyboard with the adjustable rubber feet, hence they are going to have their keyboard sliding around on their desk a little bit, but if you do use the adjustable rubber feet, your keyboard will stay put and pretty much have very minimal movement on your desk. Now, moving away from all of that, let's actually give you an example typing test so that you can hear what this key switches actually sound like with these keycaps on this board when you actually type with them. So now that we have all of that out of the way, here is my verdict and final thoughts about this keyboard. As at the time of making this video, this keyboard is selling for around $39 and that's about right when I consider the fact that this is a budget entry level keyboard for beginners. I do not see any enthusiast keyboard users actually buying this board but if you are some sort of beginner or somebody putting together their first gaming setup or maybe even somebody who just wants a keyboard that departs from the regular membrane keyboards that you're used to using, this would actually be a great first keyboard to hone. The only gripe that I have with this keyboard, personally, is probably going to be the fact that the cable is not detachable. But again, this is an entry level keyboard and most entry level keyboards are built that way. But pay attention to the fact that if you somehow damage your cable, except you're somebody who is very good with DIY, you might have damaged your keyboard permanently. So ultimately, this is a very interesting entry level beginner keyboard and it will probably be an excellent buy if you find it on sale or maybe on a discount or something. That was pretty much all my thoughts about the Avid KB487L mechanical gaming keyboard. Thank you so much for watching and I guess I will see you on another video that will show by Kagan. Peace.